Okay, we are back. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this is my third time, uh, playing this game. I recorded my second playthrough, I finished it, and then I realized when I uploaded it that, uh, I messed up the aspect ratio of the capture, so it was, uh, cutting off more than I wanted it to, so... Yeah, I gotta redo this one. <clears throat> anyway, um... I read online from the creator, I found someone else that recorded a video of uh, this game. They were stuck at the same location that I was. They had issues with uh, this part of the game. Um, they didn't know this code, which was, you had to look for that one section of the, uh, the, you know, the journal where they mentioned they grabbed a knife. That was a hint to, I guess, grab the knife for yourself. Uh, I gotta take that. Never mind, I wanna take that. And then they also mentioned that the... What does this mean? Yes, it's Barney. Take it. Um, and they also mentioned that, um, the code in the back in this back room, you should take a look at the daughter's missing date and enter that in for each one. Um, I did this one. It took me multiple tries to get, like, I was brute forcing it the last time I played this and it actually wasn't fun, but I got it and now in hindsight I kind of see what the creator was going for when they went in into that date code there. And then this one here, um, push this in, and then, uh, oh wow, okay, so I gotta, okay, so none of these are lit up right now, if I remember correctly, maybe this ought to do it, wait, and then all four in this way, oh, what, oh, these are totally different now, Odd. Well, what about this way now? There we go. All are lit up now. And then they turn off, and then it takes us in the Doom World. Yep, we gotta take a portal in the Doom World. But then we learn that we can uh, finally save, which was a godsend, because. Uh, <laughs> I had to play this game not just twice, but three times, so let's go talk to Virgil and he'll tell us how to save. Virgil, <coughs> it's good to see you again. Good to see you too. How are you coming along? Not too good, actually. These woods, though, wherever I am now, really give me the creeps. Do you understand these woods and the visions they create are meant to set you back on the right path? It may seem scary and you may get hurt, but you'll come out better for the experience. Like I said to start with, hold your head high and face your fears. Thanks. I'm trying. I really am. But this experience is just very uncomfortable. By the way, I see you found an old journal. <coughs> Andrew's written in it may be depressing and morbid, but you can still use it to record your progress. I can set it up for you. Now you should be able to access your records whenever you wish. But I still advise writing all the safe havens. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I could allow you to more with it. But it's still too early for that. What do you mean? Uh, developmental issues and such. It's not important right now. You like that phrase. Mystery of the journal soon be revealed. Go back to the safe haven if you desire. Stay safe, and I'll be seeing you again. I don't know if we have to actually do that, but I do want to do one thing though. I already messed up the uh, sound settings, but uh. There's mixing. I don't know if the, the voices or like one of these or whatever, but uh. I don't know what the voices would be under though, so. I don't know, I'll have to look at that later. But I guess we're supposed to do the... Do the save, just to do it. 
I can save over my last attempt. And then after that, I guess I might as well play a bit more, seeing as how uh, this is a lot shorter than uh, last time I did this. So, uh, yeah. Up in here we go to the safe haven. We go here. Records. And page one. Yeah, that took playtime with 39 minutes and 55 seconds. Record over that. We record over that. And we have... Ah! 12, 12 minutes! Oh, So wonderful. So wonderful. Shorter time. I'm speedrunning this game now. <laughs> anyway, um... So yeah, I might as well play a little bit more, seeing as how, uh... I basically rushed through this section of the game with my knowledge that I gained from trial and airing it. So might as well talk to Virgil again. Go through the portal here. Do you have anything else to tell us? Stay safe, I'll be seeing you again. Okay. Let's take this bridge, can we fall off it? No, we cannot. Ooh, there's a nice uh, sound to it though. Let's do our footsteps. And then we have this nice music going on, which we've already heard before, but it's still nice to Let's do it in combat by our footsteps. And we'll take this portal. Oh wow. This is really neat and then different footsteps again. Wait, what's going on? Um, dialogue? I guess nothing's here. <clears throat> you guess nothing's here, you're like in a magic circle. Oh, quite the contrary. You've reached my domain. Whose domain? Oh god. Oh, I god. am the one that man called the Pied Piper. Music man. I'm a Karen. Given the circumstance. Karen seems most fitting. I knew I had to be Karen. You seem like Karen. <laughs> So, you're the one that took those children? Yes! And you're happy about it, too. For what reason? Because it's fun! Do I need any other reasons? Um, because you're also evil? You like being evil as well? Anyway. That's just mean. Taking all those children from their families? You must know that the parents are grieving. Of course they are. I'm a good man. I can give his life and I promise to take it to his kids. <laughs> he should have known there was no way to get them back. I'm gonna reread that because of the music. I don't know how the mixing is when I will sit back, but uh, I said, Of course they are. That fool of a man even gave his own life when I promised to take him to his kids. He should have known there was no way to get them back. You heartless monster. There's no way he could have known. You caused his death. <laughs> but what about you? You left your family all alone. Oh, what your parents must think. What do you mean? It wasn't me that caused it, but your parents must be worried sick about you. <clears throat> my parents? Do you know my parents? Are they okay? My, what sad little thing. The Baku took more than your dreams. He took your memories, too. The Baku? What do you know about the Baku? Ugh, never mind. Tell me about my parents. How do I get back to them? That is for you to figure out. I cannot tell you how far you must learn now. But you want something to wait in the people. There's no telling what they are doing the grief. Just take the author of the journey as an example. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to fix the mixing of this game's audio, but I'll read this again. You know, it kind of defeats the purpose of why I got a voice acting game, because uh, I want to rest my vocal cords, but anyway. That is for you to figure out. I cannot tell you how far you must learn on your own. But you mustn't keep them waiting for you. There's no telling what they might do in their grief. Just take the author of that journal as an example. My parents wouldn't do that, would they? I don't even know how long it's been, but they already have. Yeah, you know how long it's been, but they already have. And I do like how she says, 
her line at the last part. <laughs> Both are doing actually. Both are actually doing good here. I will find them. I must. That's the correct attitude. Keep that fighting spaniel tongue the fighting tongue. Thank you. But how about a way forward, as in a way out of here? You understand that he was waiting for you when you passed this phase of the trial. I will lead you to the next phase. So we have trials to do, okay. Let's get to this portal. <clears throat> oh, that's the end of the demo. Okay, well. That was a short one. A lot shorter than I intended it to be. But, uh, yeah, uh. That was Jennifer's Nightmare. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty good. I enjoyed the voice acting. Uh, they need to work on the mixing, though, and uh, need to be more aware of how they do dates and everything for that those uh, number puzzles. Because that one I was struggling with the last time I played this, and you need to give more clues about where you're going with stuff. You know, like, I was stuck at the um, both puzzles. So I didn't know what to put in for those. So I had to like look up online and figure it out, but I got it and this was interesting. Very interesting story, uh, I like it so far. Don't know exactly where they're gonna go with this, but I'll look forward to what they potentially do if they ever finish it. So, yeah, that was, uh, Jennifer's Nightmare. And, uh, here's the rest of the credits. I'm gonna be quiet for a bit and mess my voice up and yeah. They did the same character, Virgil and Caron. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, they do have a mouse system in place. I like the music, kind of reminds me of like Batman a bit. And uh, once again, if you want to play the game for yourself, links in the description down below. Depth the inner. Sorry, I'm a bit thrown off right now. Um, I don't know if I have to hit anything or wait for the uh, 
game to continue. But if it doesn't, then I hit enter soon. Oh, there we go. The nightmare isn't over. Return to title. So yeah, that was Jennifer's nightmare. Uh, I guess it was just a demo. We'll have to check back later, I suppose. Uh, but when the full game comes out, I'm gonna have to replay this anyway. So <laughs> that's to look forward. I'll be looking forward to that because uh, I need to keep up space on my computer. So this unfortunately will be deleted. But uh, look forward to some more of this game if they ever continue it. So yeah. I hope you all have a good one. If you liked this video, then please be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.